Hello and welcome to the CSCAR tutorial videos. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to tell you about appearance settings of the admin panel. To access appearance settings go to Settings – Appearance. And the topic for today is the administrator settings. And the first setting is backend default language. Currently it's English, but you can choose any other language like German, French, Japanese, any language you want. Uh, well, but you can ask me, what's the difference between this panel and this one? Let me explain you. Uh, for example, when the new administrator creates an account or you create an account for a new administrator, uh, he will have uh, as a default language the language chosen here. But after the administrator logged in into his account, he can choose any language he or she likes. Other four settings follow the same pattern, so I will choose only one as an example. Orders per page 10. What does this number mean? This number determines how many orders are displayed at the order section page of the admin panel. Let's go to the orders page and I'll show you. Here, take a look at this number. Currently, number of orders displayed is 10, but we can choose a different number, for example 20, 30, 40 and so on, up to 100. Uh, you can ask again, why would I need a setting if I can manage the number of items manually from the orders page? Well, let me explain you this. When you change the number at the settings, this number will be applied to all new administrators. Uh, for example, if I just enter 50 instead of 10, this number will be the default number for any new administrator who comes to the store, who logs in into the admin panel. And after they log in, they can change uh, the number of displayed items as we want. The same applies to other three settings here. Products per page, CMS pages per page and elements per page. Well, uh, products are here. Products, products. Well, the number of displayed uh, products per one page. And CMS are here. Website pages. These uh, pages contain some information related not to the products directly, but to the store. For example, uh, the information about uh, the team, the information about um, the company, and any other additional information. And elements per page, any uh, features, any elements, any, I don't know, parameters that are not included in the orders, products, and CMS pages. And the last element of the settings for today is default WYSIWYG editor. Um, there are several types of uh, editors. Uh, for example, CK editor, redactor, and tiny MCE. You can choose any editor you like, but uh, I would recommend you to use redactor. This is the simplest and uh, and the most convenient editor. Okay, let me show you the difference between them and uh, tell you a little more about the editors. Uh, for this, let's go to the products, products. Now I'm going to choose any products, uh, for example this book. Yeah, there we go. Here we have the description of this book. And uh, to edit this description, they use this WYSIWYG editor. Currently it's redactor editor. Here you, we have all its functions. Now let me show you how other editors look like. This is CK editor and this is tiny MCE editor. But I must warn you, when working with the editor, don't overdo it. Don't make a Christmas tree out of your text. The text must be simple, clean and readable. To deliver the information to the customers, 
is the main purpose of the descriptions. Don't forget about it. That's it for today. In the next CS card videos, we will continue to speak about appearance settings of CS card. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS card tutorial videos.